Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hi there, welcome back. This will be for Jonah chapter 2. This will be a very short one, so you'll get out of class early today. Jonah prays to the Lord, and the fish vomits him out on dry ground. Ooh. Verse 1, Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly, and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. So that means that there had to be air in the fish, right? So enough air for him to live for three days. That sounds uh, kind of gross. Anyway, for thou hadst called me into the deep in the midst of the seas, and the floods compassed me about, all thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. The waters compassed me about, even to the soul, or to the point of death. The depth closed me round about, the weeds were wrapped about my head. So this sounds like when he's thrown into the water, uh, that the seaweed at the bottom of the sea sounded, started to grip him, it looked like. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars was, was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came in unto thee and thine holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that I have vowed salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. So it sounds like what Jonah is doing here is he looks to the temple, doesn't he? He looks to the temple as he's in his predicament here and uh, prays for the Lord for uh, forgiveness. And uh, so that's the end of the chapter, and we'll see you next time. Bye.